See the Signs campaign. It's a life-saving grassroots effort to get symptoms of type 1 diabetes out to as many people as possible. This campaign helped a local family finally figure out what was happening with their son. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to share that story, Haley. You know, an undetected diabetes can have deadly consequences. An 11-year-old James Swager was bordering that danger zone a couple years ago. He was too unhealthy to do the things he loves, but his symptoms were not significant significant enough to get the attention of doctors, although they matched everyone on the list that's on your screen now, and that's how his mother finally figured it out. I didn't feel right, but I didn't really think anything of it. James Swager and his mom agree they explained away thirst, weight loss, fatigue, with a host of other possibilities. He got sick when he'd go away, like even years previous was at the start and we just didn't notice. I remember my vision would always get really blurry, but I just felt lightheaded and really dizzy. It was hard to walk and stuff. None of those things seemed alarming in the moment until she saw this on social media and the friend who posted it helped guide them through a process that changed their lives. I think you need to check his blood glucose. And I didn't, I said, I don't, she gave me a meter and I, and I had to call her and say, I don't even know how to use this. I said, we think we need to go to the emergency room. And I said, James Swigger, we took his blood sugar. I think he's at 400 something, which meant nothing to me. I had no idea. He thankfully was not in D DKA. He was on the verge. DKA is diabetic ketoacidosis, and an estimated 42% of patients are in this life-threatening complication at the time of their diagnosis. James was almost there when he got to the hospital. It was this crash course of this is how you have to keep your child alive. And oh my goodness. While they're happy to now understand their diagnosis, type 1 adds a lot of worry to the daily lives of families dealing with it. Children like James have to regularly monitor glucose, know their numbers before and after meals, even in the middle of the night, and be ready to treat it if needed. But James says feeling healthier and living without limits is rewarding enough to give him the stamina he needs to manage the disease. Once I found out what was making me feel like that, I felt a lot better whenever I'd go, and then I started to enjoy it. Now, he was in the weight room at the Woodlands Christian Academy when we interviewed him. He is now planning to be on the football team and the powerlifting team this fall. So that kind of training, it used to make him feel sick. He said it made him feel like fainting. So his change in his health is really remarkable, wow. which is really great for him. That's that is, so good. That He's able so to great. finally perform the way he wants to yeah. do all the things he wants to do. That's great. Exactly. And just knowing those symptoms is so important. Just get it checked out. You know, because they're pretty subtle, right? right? Yeah. You might think it's hot out. It's hot out. You're dehydrated. You're exhausted. That's a good point. All right, Haley, thank you.